Good morning, bonjour, guten morgen. It's a beautiful day to be in the garden. If you are new here, my name is Julie for 254 Nature Grass. I post videos on gardening, growing affordable food at home, and how you can save money. So in this episode, I want to show you how to create a zero-cost layered garden for your vegetables. Let's get in and enjoy the video. These are our seedlings you're going to transplant. Some pests have been onto the leaves, but you're going to choose the best. This behind me is our zero cost leveled bed. I created it using zero cost materials, which you can do at home. It's a fun project you can do with your kids in the garden. And if you like this bed and this DIY, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, it helps me to get to more people. So this is where we're going to plant our vegetables. Let's get started. Do excuse me for the background noise. There's a lot of construction going on around here, which is actually a blessing because I got a lot of <laughs> spoil for my project. So here I'm going to start with uh, some beets. Then I'm going to have some cauliflower. And I am going to now mix it up with some radish. So it's going to be a mix. Remember I told you for the brassicas like lettuce, they need some partial shape. So I'm going to grow them behind on this other side. Well, once these plants are all grown, they'll be giving those plants some shade. But your cauliflower, your beets, your radish, need some good sun and the sun is going to be coming like this from this direction and this side will be shaded so you have to consider that wherever you place your leveled raised bed it's time to transplant our seedlings to the tiered raised garden bed maintain a spacing of about 10 centimeters apart, especially between the cauliflower and the beetroots. If the radish are closer to the cauliflower or beetroot, there's no problem. We will harvest the radish in about a month's time. Leaving over the cauliflower will go that will go to about three months and the beetroots that will stay also longer. So the, the main spacing that you have to observe between the plants is between the cauliflower and the beetroots. Make sure you keep the bed moist. If the bed is too dry, your cauliflower can bolt. That happens a lot with the brassicas. And you'll also not get good beetroots. Companion planting of radishes with cauliflower and beetroot is recommended because radishes can keep annoying pests away. These uh, cauliflower and beetroots are susceptible to pests such as aphids. So do companion pa planting with radishes to keep the pests away. You can top dress the tear dressed garden bed. You can add some compost. To supply the nutrients that is needed by the plants if your ph is low also add some wood ash just available at home because all these crops they grow well at a ph between six to seven they will grow well so this system allows you to mix seeds of vegetables that grow slowly and those that grow fast and it helps you to maximize space in your garden the transplanting is done so the next step is to water remember to water your seedlings i've distributed my radish the cauliflower and the beetroots i want to show you another video once they're established so that you can see them well because right now i've just transplanted them they are still slack 
If you are new here, remember to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see the outcome when the, when the young transplants are established and going well, please remember to subscribe. It goes a long way to support me. That will be all for this episode. Until next time, let's create a food and garden heaven. Thank you for your support.